All right, so we're gonna wrap up here. The last piece I wanted to share with you is the AI whisperer. So what is the AI whisperer? Well, the AI whisperer is the job of the future. There's this Washington Post article that text hottest new job is someone who knows how to engineer a prompt for the best output. And it's, I, I sort of think of it as the revenge of the English major. Uh, suddenly, uh, we were in the doghouse, those of us who got MFAs in creative writing like me, and now suddenly I don't need to know how to code. I, I don't need to know uh, the, the specifics of how machine language works. I don't need to study C+. I, I, can, I don't need to learn Python. I can just describe what I want in really vivid and clear language, and boom, generative AI makes it for me. And so I, I feel really... Um, happy that I'm finally going to beat Jeff uh, because Jeff has been beating me uh, at everything in all areas of life uh, for the last decade that we've been friends. And I'm, I'm very happy that I'm finally going to get my revenge and be better at something finally uh, than you. But I, I've actually watched this guy prompt engineer and he's pretty dang good at that too. Um, so uh, maybe not, but- it, Well, I'm just excited that I can finally write now, which is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So- um, and I wanted to give you guys also just kind of as we as we close this section on on texting prompt engineering, we are at the infancy of prompt engineering and what a prompt is and what a simple versus complex prompt can do. The very infancy, infancy. Those of you who are a little uh, gray in the hair like me will remember back in the day when you had to use Boolean search terms for Google. Remember where you had to do like. Um, restaurant and near me in quotation marks or with, you know, like that whole Boolean thing to end the ors and the knots and what a frank nightmare that was. And then you started to write in like halting phrases in Google search. It was like restaurant near me, tire repair shop in Miami. And then you started to ask questions. You would type, what is a tire repair shop uh, in Miami? And now it's mostly by voice, right? We click the little button and we just dictate our question. We hit search. Over time, they call this the long tail search. The average length of a search query is now, I believe, seven or eight words, when back in the day it was two or three. So what's happened is Google has gotten better and better at learning how to adapt search. And we have gotten better and better at how to use Google as a tool to get what we want. And what I've noticed, is the longer tail my search and the more specific I am in my search query, the better the search results. And I, at this point, almost never don't get my desired response in the first or second uh, search query response. And so that's what's gonna happen with prompt engineering. Like we are in the infancy of it, it's clunky. Uh, Nicole has been doing this for a while. She could probably tell you stories of nightmares from her early days of trying to get anything useful out of this. Next session, uh, one week from today, we're gonna be talking about um, images and, and creating images. And I gotta tell you, uh, I, I find creating imagery out of Dolly and Mid Journey and uh, Stable Diffusion a complete nightmare. Um, and so that's what's coming up uh, and the evolution of the prompt uh, is a big part of it.